Okay guys, welcome um, to another awesome episode of At Chummingham Three. Today we're going to do another uh, uh, retake on these uh, Scully uh, fragging videos. Um, my other one was kind of um, not all that great, so I'm trying to do a better job on it uh, this time. So uh, I got a couple Scullies that we're going to be fragging here today. Um, this master one right there is an F0 generation. So is this one. F0 just means that it hasn't been fragged yet. Okay. This is an F1 generation, all right? People ask me sometimes, like, uh, do you want... This? So this is an F1 generation, it's just uh, sliced once. People ask me when they're starting off with a larger scully, do you just uh, um, slice it in half, or do you cut it into like a pizza, like in quarters? And I never like to uh, cut into quarters. Um, so what I like to do is just cut it once, let it start to heal, and then I cut it again. So when you're starting with an F0, once you get to F2, it should be four scullies, okay? So we're gonna cut that one again today, because that one's ready. Um, this is the other half of that one. It's also ready. And then don't pay attention to these bounces. Uh, so yeah, um, I'll check back with you in a minute once I get over to my saw. One sec. Alright guys, here we are. Now you always gotta try to get them out. If you don't, it's a failure. And let me look. Oh yes. Oh, beautiful. All right, guys, here we are, back with the master. We're gonna put it through the saw. I can identify the mouth. I have my line. Here I roll. Looking pretty good. I'm liking the cut. Pretty much the same thing as before. All right, guys, to keep this uh, video short. I'm gonna check back in a minute. All right, guys, so uh, here we are back over at my frag tank. Um, in my hand right here, I have a, uh, I don't even know what generation this has been cut so much. Um, I wanna get into something that I haven't really been talking a lot about uh, thus far. Um, that's the uh, size of the scully that you're starting off with. Um, like I said just before, um, I don't really like to start with the large scullies. The reason for that is because the smaller scullies, they have uh, less uh, skeletal reconstruction that uh, needs to go on uh, in order to uh, recircularize themselves. With the bigger ones, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot more difficult to get them to round out and to get them to be more pleasant to the eye. So let me show you some other techniques that I've been employing to get my scullies to round out um, a little bit uh, quicker. Here is, and I need to give credit uh, where credit is due. Um, so this is actually uh, due to Armando Batrez. Uh, he's in Chicago. Um, and this is a uh, F2 generation Scully that really wasn't um, doing all that well for me, um, even though it started really small. Um, it took forever to get it to kind of like circle out like this. But what actually has been helping a lot um, was the addition of these little pebbles here. For some reason, the scully wants to extend its tissue and cover those pebbles. So after the scully has like started healing itself, I like to surround it in pebbles. Because even if you look at this one, this one was the same thing and now it's reaching out and it's touching on that, uh, what would be your right hand side of the screen. Um, so, uh, I found that adding these little pebbles of Reborn, um, media has been super, um, beneficial to increasing the rate of these growths. Because these scallies, they just want to reach out and touch it. Here's a really great example, um, of that. Because I have a pebble on, on this side, but not on the other side. On this side, I kind of messed up and pissed it off or whatever. Uh, but this side is significantly better with the pebble than the one without the pebble, for sure. Um, 
And look how small I've gotten down some of these scullies. Huh? Look how tiny that is. That's actually a circle. Can you hit on that real quick? Hold on one sec. Isn't that amazing? So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, so right now, I got all those other scullies on the timer. Oh, and here's my scully garden. Um, right here. It's a weird time of day right now. Everyone's kind of uh, closing up right now. But um, you can see... Uh, I tried to graft the scully, um, and we'll see how that turns out. We're still uh, learning about that. That's a master um, frag right there. And then that's actually a uh, double mouth um, aquacultured scully right there uh, by accident. See you up, guys? Everything's looking good. So I got all the uh, scullies in, uh, um, over here. And uh, we are dipping um, in witch hazel for 15 minutes here. Um, and I'll reiterate, that's uh, 10 milliliters per half gallon for 10 minutes. And then after that, I'm gonna put it in this bucket, uh, which is just tank water and uh, like 10 drops of iodine and about a half gallon of water. And then after that, I'll glue them all onto their separate plugs and uh, load them in back into the tank. Um, moderate flow. Uh, lower light. All right, guys. There, but um, I noticed something really interesting with this uh, frag master scully here. Um, so I put on my uh, Orphic macro lens and uh, busted that out. And uh, now I've got this for your viewing pleasure right here. Um, just another shout out to uh, Orphic, great light company, and they make this great lens uh, to zoom in on things like this and uh, show other people what your corals are doing. Um, so the reason why I wanted to bust out the macro lens in the first place and show you guys what's going on on this one is because this is like, like, great like uh, evidence of a successful frag. You can see that um, on the bottom of your screen, you know, right in the middle of it, um, right by that fresh glue, because I was actually just cleaning that, um, you can see uh, that it's kind of more of like a translucent, translucent tissue. Um, and you're going to be seeing that on day three after the cut. Um, and if you have that, then you know it's good to roll. Um, this is just a great uh, example of that, so I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, so, yeah, just see if I can get a little bit closer. And then a little great image right there, huh, guys? Very cool. See that little translucent thing? The translucent tissue grows. When you go to the uh, left side of the screen, you can obviously see it's mature tissue. Um, so yeah, great, awesome guys. All right, have a great day or great night. Thank you guys.